my name is uh, Mr. Ajutu Ezanya, Mr. Ajutu Ezanya. Go ahead, sir. So yesterday, the time is uh, 11.45, to be precise. Understand what I mean? So, I came to the first office to charge for Then I met with the BCC. They were talking to one soldier. The man was very jean and camouflage, long sleeve, and putting sweater. He was discussing about the fourth engine he brought the other day with the passports. Little time, I was there. When one guy came in, he was wearing white shorts and long sleeve. He came, please, excuse me, sir, I have a complaint. He said, okay, wait. I don't think so. I want to deal with you, then I can attend to you. So he said, no, I'm talking to you, then you are discussing with another person in front of that soldier. So that soldier looked at him and kept quiet. I was still talking with the PCC chairman. I mean, public complaint committee chairman. So they are discussing on the said, can't you hear me? There's a location there. Two of them, we started saying, you bloody silly, I'm talking to you. Why is he moved? Everybody look, that's what he meant. We don't even understand him. He said, please, can you go outside? He went outside, we were just shouting. Little Titan, I'm going to show you who I am. And he came with one guy that's wearing a bag at his back, a civilian. So when they are going out, then one Mr. Solomon rushed to him, said, please calm down, what is your problem? That's why the man opened up and said, the father of this guy here sent me to help him retrieve some goods there. Kick starter. That's why he called his friend. The guy was telling him, leave him, leave him there. The two of them went. Then I went back to the office and asked the chairman, what is the problem between you and that man that left? He said, This is exactly. Even the army man that he was attending to testified to me. He said they are coming back. So I'm not going to go anywhere as an editor, I stay in the market. Let me stay nearby and watch events when we're going to come back again to have the situation. Within 10 minutes, he lost some speed. He said, No. One of every, every place just we are under search. Totally. The other guy was, you bloody Biafrance or what? Kind of, I don't believe in fucking sentiments, but I know they are useless bizarres. I want to get this in shreds. Somebody telling you it's toast, it's rubbish. There's nothing like that because you come to complain. We never even know the reason why you come to the market. This has been the order of the day. A mechanic will come, I hire him outside. How much I'm going to pay? Somebody will be outside. I say, I'm Major General Yakubu from Abuja. Uh, if you don't tell the engine, I close the market. This threat is too much for us to bear on a daily basis. Then I want to ascertain what prompts you to come with this guy. We have not discussed to know that he cannot satisfy you. Immediately, I was just begging them. They brought gun and start shooting. I start shooting. I start sh I beg. I want the guy. Please, the cash right will be bunched. People are too much. This is why people are start running and defending themselves and throwing uh, stone. When you are throwing stone, I, I'm the only person in the buffer zone between the army, Air Force guys, and the traders. The only person, everybody run. Whenever they run, I just kneel in there, please go back. When this guy was, the driver was having gone by his side, then he shoot, he shoot. The guy, the most red shorts and white shirts, go and grab the gun. I will tell you who shoot who. The guy that died here, I know the person that shot him dead. The guy that shot inside, I know the person that shot him dead. So the guy knew that, so there's nothing like straight bullets. He's aiming at, then he knelt down. Very wise. By the side, if you're entering this gate now, I shot that guy and the stomach, one the boot was one the leg. The guy, they carried him up. So when I was helping the soldier, because I wanted to leave the market immediately, I entered that day, he lost. I helped them to jack it up. The my brother, the one in the ring that was holding the vehicle. So the guy was revising, revising. Then I brought out the, the front uh, chair that was in the front. 
who was driving so wrong when they are coming out. I run off the Tunumbu block and they carry that guy that shot. When I was running, the same young guy, he's a Fulani guy or Yamsa guy, he just ran again when I was carrying that guy to the all the Tazi people deserted me. Blood was all over my body. He said, drop that idiot, let me just finish him there. Then he pointed a gun at me, direct in my heart. Just like this, that if I move or say anything, that's enough of me. He was going to waste me here and nothing will happen. I said, my son, look at me. Even my last born. I went to NTA 83. I was drunk. But then your mother had not been born before. Don't take anybody seeing here from granted. He said, if I sell anything, I said, don't shoot me for anything. Then the guy, he's the person that collected that rifle from the one wearing white and shot this man here. It's when he, he was he finished with me, coming back, then he shot that guy that died. Yeah, immediately. Then he went to the by that uh, people around inside their shops. What they did, they go out and mobilize and carry sticks. I hit people's heads, breaking people's heads. I was shouting. I called that yellow one. Say, I begged you. I kneel down and beg you. Please, casualty, leave this market. This is mountain of 2005. Your cost life, man. What you people want? Now, I was so astonished this morning when I read some trash and stupid thing somebody can put up. What are you talking about life? So, so let's be careful of the words. Now, about the, the people that were shot and the people that died, how many were shot? How many died? Good and fine. We are not praying for more casualties or more people to die. There are some people that are in the hospital. They are going to that place to certain their conditions. Some people are still in coma. How many? I don't know. One knows how many. How many? We are coming. I was, I was coming with a different groups. We saw Terry. We were still Terry in the hospital. Sorry, dead? No, alive. Three are alive. Three are alive. Yeah. We left to severe wounds. One of them is just coming out from theatre. Major operation. Yes. And uh, yesterday evening, while we came back from Ikeja, they brought one cops here in Ladebo. That, that one wanted to trigger another casualties. But the uh, president went and questioned, you know, third, uh, addressed our boys, all of them left. So that is uh, the one. I don't know if there is any casualty at uh, a solo general hospital. That uh, we are not yet that was sure. One that died. Okay. So, Mr. President, now in total, how many people died? Died one. I got yes. 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 Investigation revealed that two cops were drugged at the army barracks in Africa. How true is this? Yeah, you say you are good. My name is Guardian. Guardian. At at 8 p.m. yesterday, investigation revealed that two dead bodies were dropped out. It was a false information. Have you confirmed that? That's why we are here. Our own is good. Confirmed. So these are the people. And the mention of one person. So far, one day. Then the president will run up. My name is Ubiora Ume. I'm a legal practitioner from the association. I will start by saying that what happened yesterday is not the beginning of the intimidations, the harassments from the military in the market. I recall two years ago, I came to the market and there were two army men, they came in uniform. And one of them said that he bought an engine he used for eight months and that the engine had started smoking, that he wanted a replacement. And that because the person who saw the agent refused to replace it for him, he wanted to arrest him and take him to the barracks by force. Fortunately, I was around. I said, we're not going to take him anywhere. Because, number one, 
what you bought was not a brand new engine. You bought a fairly used engine. And normally, if you have used engine for eight months and it starts smoking, then it's either you buy another one or go and um, repair, it. repair it. You can come because you are an army officer and beat this guy, take him to your barracks. So that day the chairman was around some other executives and then we insisted. It took several hours. Finally, they left and then subsequently they came back in larger number. But at the end of the day, some senior officers in the military got to know about it and the matter was resolved. That was not all. There was another incident. So this thing has been recording over time. And then what we then decided was that the association decided to put up a very big signboard, visible to everybody. If you go outside there, you will see it. And what is contained in it is a public notice. A public notice is a notice to the whole world that whatever you bought has fairly used, that there is no guarantee that you are going to return it after some time. Before you take it away, it must be tested. And once it's tested and it's working, you go with it, you take it, and that is uh, the way it is. So now, coming to what happened yesterday, yesterday there was a matter that concerned the association that went out in court. It was after the court that was that no single person came from the association. I now called the chairman. He told me that there was an incident that the army came and um, opened fire. I said, how did it happen? That was when I knew that because of Kickstarter, that one army man bought about six, seven months ago. Suddenly, the thing stopped working. He now came to the market to insist, as they usually do, for a replacement. And the, at the end of the day, matter was uh, resolved. Then after it was resolved, between him and the, I was still not fully satisfied. He now went to the Tassos office. At the Tassos office, you have the PC chairman, uh, public, 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 public committee chairman, this is our Bobi, and he was really attended to some people. So they told him to hold on. He was not ready to wait. And in any case, I need to remind you that he did not come in the army uniform. There were two of them. They came in mostly. And he felt that uh, because he's an officer, even though they are not in, on the face of it, apparently, to show that this man is an officer, that he must be attended to first. So they pleaded with him, please, be patient. He refused. So one of them now told him, okay, please, can you give us chance? He took offense. He went, and they came back with OP Mesa and wanted to finish the traders. Because, number one, if you are firing arms, you are shooting gun, not up, but aiming at people, what you tend to do is to kill. And the law says that you, you bear the consequences of your actions. So somebody that is aiming at people and shooting indiscriminately want them to kill. The question is, why do they want to kill? Kill innocent, unarmed civilians. Why? Was there, because there was there any threat? Well, there was no threat. Was there, they can we really even say in the in widest imagination that was a, they were shooting as a result of defense, self-defense, nothing like that. At the time the, the two of them left the market, there was no problem. Only to go back and unleash mayhem on the traders. Now it is enough. We are not going to allow this matter to lie low. For now, nobody can say precisely the number of people that have died. Sure. Because we don't know. The market is such a big place that when the shooting started, people were running right as together. And the market has been shut down by the association, at least to get to the root of this matter. So is that day today we find out how many people actually died. But at least we know that um, yesterday some people brought cups of um, 
One dog bad is about 28 years that uh, died. We are hearing that some other people may have died. We don't know. But the issue is that I did not think we are going to send a petition to the Inspector of Police on this matter. We are also going to send one to the Chief of Army Staff on this matter. We are equally going to send one to the Governor of the State and the Commission for Police on this matter. Let the whole world know that it is wrong for somebody because you are an army man. You are army, you are paid from the tax, paid by the civilians, the masses. The gun you have is not your personal gun. You are using to kill people in something that has to do with contracts. Because buying and selling is contractual. It's purely contractual. Not a... So that is the problem that is at hand. It has been all for but this is the time that a life has been lost. And we see it as murder. Okay, it's murder. Let's hear from the president so that we can wrap up this session, please. They are men of the Air Force, not Army. Let's not be Air Force personnel. Air Force. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before, my name is Mr. Chief and Sorry, I'm It's quite unfortunate. Series of problems with soldiers. And I believe this is the time we are going to stop it. And I believe by the grace of God, time will come when we decide in Ladipo Market not to sell any motorcycle pass to any soldier. It's getting, it's getting out of hand taking laws into their hands. And we're here talking about Kickstarter, worth of how much? 3,500. And somebody is dead, which you don't know how many people that died. So many are still in the hospital. We are going to take this matter to the highest authority to make sure we get Judgments. Thank you very much. So, so since yesterday, I feel uh, from the uh, lunch you went uh, with the army. Have you heard from them? Uh, there will be many conversations. Any exchange between you and them? Uh, yesterday we went to their office. You know, as a soldier, they are trying to protect their boys. The wish we told them that we are leaving their office to go and make report to the necessary place that we're supposed to do. As of that yesterday, we air our own view to them. It's quite unfortunate that soldiers will come inside the market and start shooting trailers, direct, as if they are uh, animals. The intimidation in their office was so much to us and we left. That's all. But this morning, one of their commander called me that he would like to have a meeting with our executives. But due to the situation of the market today, we decided to shut down to show the world, to show the Nigerians what happened in Ladipo market. To solidarity that with the person that died. That's the reason why our market was shut down today. That's the reason why we will not be able to have time to go and meet the, uh, the first commander by invited us. Thank you. I don't know if you are demanding for any damage. Are you making a response? As of now, not yet. Justice. We are demanding for justice. How many days will the market be? Uh, I cannot say anything for now. Okay, um, we, we know, let's put this in Naira Politics. Naira Politics is a big market with high economic value. Between yesterday and this internet happened and the market, can you let me put some figure what the market was in the most? 
Thank you very much, my brother. You are the person you just asked me. Bloody bomb market is the biggest automobile market in the whole West Africa, not in Nigeria. But as of now, we are not talking about how much we lost. We are talking about life. Second question is that um, also, our preliminary investigations in the Following what the Daniel person here has said, that um, there are issues between the military, even the up to market and buy goods, and also give the money to our children, and even after the future. Let me use myself being very important in the market. Now, if you the person, because I know that if you buy some good ideas, you can go on Sometimes it may be to have a leverage, some dealers, uh, traders, give guarantee to what they buy, a warranty. Yeah, yes. Some the guarantee and warranty. Yes. And then, now, because there, at any point where that dealer had this agreement, because he said that business or trading is a contractual agreement, I'm doing your work now. Yes. Was there any relationship that contractor had been between them that if it gets spoiled, you can return this? And what was the material? If the person there can tell us, so that we put things in perspective. That is one. Two, there have been also incidences where uh, even the, the computers of the Sometimes when they come to market, they are being awful and all of that. Now, this issue, investigation revealed that when you went to the PCC office and you tried to make blood that one of the best task force, we were not there, but our underground investigation gave us this. How true. And once it is one week, you bring it back. You find it difficult to collect a money. That is where it looks as if we are most time. Where we buy, we don't have any parameter. We used to know if that engine or that item is okay or not. We incur a lot of loss with ourselves this engine to the end user. We, the executives here, we have our own vehicles. We also experience what we people are experiencing. I can buy an item and it is it doesn't work. I bring it to you. He said, Ah, chairman, go and I go now after you come. When I go there once, twice, when I look, when I feel bored, maybe now you go later bring my money back to me. Or you give me exactly what I want. 
this is to combat the business we are doing in fairly use. What the problem before this, now we both said and give us, the, what the problem is, we don't know. The second question. Remind me what you asked. Say, the slab demand. The slab demand. I think um, I also have an eyewitness, as I told you. Because if I give you the information, it will look as if uh, maybe I'm trying to jump God. Please, uh, Mr. Dokkan, did anybody slap anybody that no, yesterday? That man is so rude. To the Constituent Authority or Public Opinion Committee, was shouting. And had it been, I know the number of that soldier they are attending to. I record him, he was there. There was a certain thing that was there to be to ascertain his problem why he was in the market. When this guy be suddenly walking, I was interrupting that he must be attended first. Say, please, leave my office. Nobody shouts in office. I leave you know, you know, here. What I know, this is not Korean core Nigerian soldiers that know this. Maybe you repeat the book around the first sheet. So let me help you once again. Sorry, I want to let me. Hello. Let me portray this point very clear. Here in, my, in our market, we have PCC. That's the first port of, port of entry. You establish a case there. After the judgment, if you are not comfortable, we have appeal. Go and put for appeal. If you are not comfortable, you have the office of the executive chairman. Come there. Bring your matter. It will be resolved. But I'll tell you us here that any case that comes to my office personally must be attended to and justice must prevail. I also have confidence, even the members of my PCC, they have been doing a wonder, very wonderful job. If they are not competent enough, I mean, I would have been having some shaking mind. But I know, I trust to some large extent that they are doing good. Thank you. Okay, that should be all from the press conference from the... On the of my colleagues. The, uh, at the bond market, where the, they briefed the press about what had happened and uh, what in the view. They said they will follow up, try to look into how to get justice for their people, and for now they don't see oh, the Ladipo market as a result. From this place, I have a brief one more before I go leave this place completely. Bro, I did. So we are finished listening to the traders of the market and um, we're pulling out of the place where they do their press conference. I won't stay outside show now. An area view of uh, Ladipo market, according to the president, Mr. Wang Kuo, he talks say the Ladipo market now the biggest spare parts market in the whole West, Africa. And now they don't shut them down because of this incident that happened. They on their own shut them down in order to try to commiserate with the families of people who lose person that yesterday to identify with them and uh, to protest what happened. I won't show now the area view. to the chairman the whole of Ladipo market is going to be shut down at least for today to protest what happened yesterday as you can see many of the sellers there around this is not the largest spare parts market in the whole of West Africa not just in Nigeria 
and now where this particular incident happened. The gates of the market, they completely shut as we speak. Let me zoom into the gate so that you confirm what I did tell you. So this one, one of the gates of the market, and as you can see, is sealed. There is another one too. This one too, and that gate there, there, and it's also sealed. So they have so many units in the big Ladipo market, and all these units don't shut down for now to protest what happened yesterday. See this one too, this whole building, this yellow building, so... Now also another part of the market and also that one too don't shut down so this is the situation for ladipo market we don't confirm from the authorities for lagos state university chain hospital say they bring in at least three people with gunshot wounds yesterday and they don't stabilize those three that is to confirm say true true shooting happened around here and about three people were injured and one person differently don't die from the situation that's the situation we don't get from this area. And with the hell of an hour day with us since we begin this broadcast. I will continue today bring on more information as time unfolds. With the hell of an hour. Bye.